افمن يعلم انما انزل الیك من ربك الحق كمن هو اعمى تو جس تھنک اے پرسن ہو بلیوز اینڈ ہو نوز دیٹ وٹ ایور ہیز بین سینڈ ڈاؤن آن یو او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فرام یور لارڈ از دی ٹروتھ فار ایگزامپل ابو بکر ہی نوز دیٹ دس از دی ٹروتھ ہز اون سول ہیز ٹیسٹیفائڈ ٹو دی ٹروتھ فلنیس آف دس 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 میسج وچ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز سینڈ ڈاؤن آن یو کمن ہو آما کین ہی بی لائک دی ون ہو از بلائنڈ ہو کین ناٹ سی ہی کین ناٹ اپریشیٹ انما یا تذکر اول الباب اونلی دوز پیپل ہو ہیو انڈرسٹینڈنگ دے یوز دیئر انٹلیکٹ اونلی دے کین ریمائنڈیڈ اونلی دے کین بی ایڈمانشڈ اللہ زین یو فون اب یاد اللہ دوز ہو فلفل دیئر کوویننٹ ود اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ولا ین قضول المیسا اینڈ دے ڈونٹ بریک دی کوویننٹ وچ واز دس کوویننٹ وچ وی ریڈ ان سورت العراف الست بی ربکم قالو بلا Now those people who are true to this covenant, they accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their Lord. They go on worshipping Him, obeying Him. وَالَّذِينَ يَسِلُونَ مَا عَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَيُّوْ سَلَىٰ And they join what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, been, has commanded to join. You know these relations of womb, silatul rahm, because you know people are joined together. The brothers and sisters are joined together. At the womb of the mother. They have all come out of the womb of the mother. And then at the womb of the grandmother, the cousins, you know, they are joined. So these are the relationships between human beings. And these are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants that you should have you know, enough regard for these relations. But those who break them, they will be mentioned later. And they have fear of their Lord. And they always fear the evil reckoning of the day of judgment. وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُ اُبْتِغَابَ جَيْ رَبِّهِمْ And those who persevere in seeking the countenance of their Lord. Waj, face, countenance. And what does it mean? The player. They seek the player of their Lord. وَقَامُ السَّلَاةَ And they establish the prayers. وَأَنفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِدْرًا وَعَلَىٰ نِيَةً And they spend for his pleasure from what we have provided them. Secretly and openly. Yadraoona bil hasanat is sayyah. And they repel. Yadraoona bil hasanat is sayyah. They repel the evil with good. Now this is the picture that was at Makkah. People were calling names to Muslims and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh, you have gone crazy. Oh, this is that and that is this. But you know the Muslims had to be very patient. Not giving the reply in the same coin. No. Yadraoona bil hasanat is sayyah. They are, you know, defending against all these bad things with good behavior. Their response was good. They are calling names to you and you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, forgive them because they don't know. Allahumma ahdi qawmi, innahum la ya'alamun. Oh Allah, guide them to the right path. Actually what they are saying, they are saying out of ignorance. They don't know it. They don't know what they are saying. They don't know what they are doing. So Allah, forgive them. Yadrauna bil hasanati sayyya, ulaika lahum uqmad dar. These are the people for whom there will be the good abode of the hereafter. What is that abode? Jannatu Adin Yad Khulunaha. There will be gardens and residential gardens, or the gardens which will be, will be which will have perpetual bliss. Yad Khulunaha. They will enter them. Waman Salaha Mina Baihim Wal Wajahim. And with them, those of their fathers and their spouses, Bazuriyatihim and their progeny. وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يَدْخُلُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ بَاب Those of fathers and spouses and progeny مَنْ صَلَحَ Who have been reformed Who are on the right path Maybe they are not of that level For example, if there is a very, you know, highly spiritual person among the bondsmen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is sending him to a higher level of Jannah Now he sees his father His mother, for example, his sons and daughters, his wife, for example, or the wife sees the husband. Although they are okay, they have also been admitted in Jannah, but not that level. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise the levels of these relatives of this person so that they should be with him. But the condition is, man salah amin abayim. They must themselves be, they must have to confirm the prerequisites and fulfill the prerequisites. But the level unit that cannot be that can be increased so that this person he is pleased to have his father with him. 
his his brothers and his wife with him woman salah min abaihim was wajihim wa zurriyatihim wal malaikatu yadkhuluna alayhim min kulli bab and the angels will keep on coming to them from all the doors and what for salamun alaykum saluting them giving them salam salamun alaykum bima sabartum because of the patience and perseverance which you showed now in these two ayat you find in the word sabr most importantly mentioned wal ladina sabaru tiqa wajhi rabbihim those who showed perseverance this was ayah number 22 وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا ابْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِمْ And here in ayah number 24, سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمَا صَبَرْتُمْ Actually through the Makki period, the most important virtue was sabr. Because as I've told you, it was the period of passive resistance. You have to convey your message. You have to spread this message of Islam. Unity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. that the, the muhammad is messenger of allah subhanahu wa taala you have to go on spreading the message and if people you know they are calling names to you they are mocking at you they are cutting jokes with you or they are persecuting you persecution it can be verbal it can be physical you have to take everything with patience no retaliation this is sab this was the order of the day for 12 long years at makka no muslim was allowed to retaliate don't you know don't try to reply them in the same coin no the law is an nafsa bin nafs wal ayna bil ayn wal unufa bil unuf the law remains the same the law is what was in torah and the law is the same here in quran also but actually this period of the struggle this period of dawa this is the stage of your of your movement in during this phase of your movement you have to have sabr no retaliation no revenge and that was actually the key to success as i have explained in the lecture that i gave on last sunday this was the key to success because the general public which we call the silent majority they were seeing it they were silent they couldn't take the courage of standing you know and saying to abu jahl you are wrong they didn't have the courage to say this but they were not blind they were seeing what is happening to muhammad and who is muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what is happening to abu bakr and who is abu bakr what is happening to bilal well he did nothing wrong he only says that there is no god except allah and muhammad is his messenger if he has committed a crime this is the crime and he is being beaten like anything he was seen being dragged you know with a rope in his neck and he was being dragged like the dead body like the corpse of an animal why why what for due to what what crime of his not none so actually the sympathies of the general mass masses of the people of the silent majority they were going in favor of these people who were calling them towards allah and that was the key to the success so this sabr was most important during all this bakki period that is why in the beginning you find even you know muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in singular plural fasbir ala ma yaquluna wahjurhum hajran jabila wale rabbi ka fasbir واصبر لحكم ربك ولا تكن كصاحب الحوت واصبر وما صبرك الا بالله in you know find it in so many places the advice to muhammad coming from allah subhanahu wa taala oh muhammad take it patiently take it patiently bear it patiently show perseverance واصبر وما صبرك الا بالله واصبر ولا تكن كصاحب الحوت اذ نادى وهو مكذوب don't become like that that messenger of allah who was swallowed by the by the fish Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam you have to wait for the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to leave Mecca you can't leave Mecca without express permission you have to be here and you have to take everything with forbearance 